welcome to part five of this 802 cable hat knit along video series. We have gotten up in video four through the top of the numeral two and we're now moving on to the numeral zero, which you'll find is much simpler. There are just two cabling rows near the bottom, that is in row three, and up near the top. The other thing you should know about this numeral zero is then all those rows in between are the, the same. There is a, a line of rows that are the same. I have made each numeral in this pattern 12 rows tall. If you want a shorter hat, if you have a smaller head and you're trying to get a hat that's perhaps more tightly fitting and not going up over the top of, of the head by much, one of the things you can do if you wish is just eliminate some of these vertical rows in the zero and you'll wind up with a smaller numeral zero that will look just fine. It will be shorter than the other two numerals, but it will work perfectly and actually will be in harmony with the, the circles that are within the numeral eight that we'll be doing next. So we are now in the next table on the pattern that's labeled numeral zero. And these are the columns. You'll see that the uh, first columns and last columns remain the same. Those are those seed stitches and the vertical knit patterns. And again, the uh, cable itself is in this center column. And you will note that we have um, just two set up rows for the numeral zero. We're going to start with purl five and knit two, purl five. And then on the next one, purl four, knit four, purl four. And what that does is it just gives the bottom of the zero a little bit rounder of a, of a profile. Uh, so if we started just in knit four across and then divided it for the, uh, for the cable, um, it would just look more or less like two straight lines. So doing knit two first and then knit four before dividing it. So knit two first and then knit four before dividing it for the cables. It just gives a slightly more rounded uh, profile to the bottom of that zero. All right, so you have completed rows 17 and 18 on the pattern. And so in the middle of your cable stitches, you'll have first that set of two knit stitches and then the set of four knit stitches and that is what we are going to cable. Now at the top of the numeral two you cabled those inwards. Now we're going to cable them outwards. So following on row 19 of the pattern, first let us get up to that cable, uh, the, the cable column of stitches. So we knit, purl, knit, on our seed moss stitches, knit that frame stitch, and then we're up to that center column of the cable. And so we're gonna purl two, one, two. And then we're gonna cable two back. So once again, putting two stitches on the cable needle. This is a C2B in your pattern. Put two stitches on the cable needle and hold them behind and then K2, so knit the next two stitches normally from your regular needle. And then purl the two stitches from the cable needle. One, two. And now we're immediately going to go into the next cable to move the next set of knit stitches over to the left. So you're gonna put these two knit stitches on the cable needle. And these are C2F, cable to front. So you're gonna put the two stitches on the cable needle, hold them in front of your work. Purl two, so that is purl the next two stitches on your regular needle. And then K2CN, which is knit two from the cable needle. So you'll pull that cable needle over and knit your two stitches from the cable needle. Then you simply purl the remaining two stitches in that 
cable column. And that completes the bottom cabling for the numeral zero. You've now moved those two columns out to create the center hole in the zero. And then what you're gonna do from there on in, from rows 21 to 26, is simply uh, knit and purl straight up as the stitches present themselves. So you're going to purl two, knit two, purl the four in the middle of the zero, and then knit two and purl the last two. So now you have completed the rows to give the height to your numeral zero here, and we're ready to cable back in, to cable these sides into the middle to create the top of the numeral zero. So we are now up to row 27 uh, in your pattern. So first I need to get up to that cable area, knit, purl, knit for the seed moss stitches, knit that framing stitch. Now we're in the cable column and as usual we're going to start with a purl two. And now it's time to cable. And we're going to do something just ever so slightly different when we do this in that rather than in the prior cables you had either purled both of the stitches or knitted both of the stitches from the cable needle. This time you're going to do one of each. So the first uh, cable here on this row is going to take these two knit stitches and move them to the left into the center. So we're going to cable front. This is on your pattern as C2F. Cable two stitches to the front. So we're going to move those two stitches to the front and purl the next two stitches. And then we're going to take the cable needle and the instruction is written as P1, K1, CN, which is purl one and then cable one from the cable needle. So you need to purl one from the cable needle and then knit one from the cable needle. Then we're going to go straight to the next cabling and in this one, we need to move these two knit stitches to the right. So it's going to be a C2B, cable two back. You take these two stitches onto your cable needle and hold them in back of the work. Now we're going to knit one and then purl one. I'm sorry, knit one and then purl one from your regular needle. And then purl two from the cable needle. and then purl those last two stitches in the cable column. So let me show you what you have just done here is that you have cabled these two columns of knit stitches inward, but what you've done is purl, knit, knit, purl. So that is in balance what you did in the beginning here when you just knit two stitches in the middle and we let those extra purls give it a little bit more of a rounder shape. You've replicated the same thing at the top by on your cables going purl, knit, knit, purl. So the two purls wind up in the middle and you've got a purl stitch on either side. And that again helps to give a little bit more of a rounder appearance to the top of that numeral zero. So again, now you have completed the numeral zero. You did knit two in the center and then knit four in the center, cabled them out, gone straight up, and then did one cable in at the top uh, in each direction and did a purl knit, knit purl on those cable stitches to create a rounded top. The next row, row 28, which is the last row in the numeral zero table, you're just going to purl straight across the top of those cable stitches and that will complete your numeral zero. And then we'll come back with another video to do the numeral eight.